How do you end up with people that do this type of thing? How do you end up with these, you know, childhood shooters? How do you end up with people that go into a school and do this? And I think a lot of it is, uh, to me, a lot of it is a societal thing. And I'm not going to, everybody has their views. I'm not challenging your view here. This is just a space where I'm sharing what I think. And I could be wrong. That's totally okay. But I think. I feel and I think sometimes that people don't have purpose. You have a, a, a country where, you know, it used to feel like, like if you worked at a, I mean, I'm going to go off on some different thoughts here. So if you worked at like a business, then you had a lot of middle-class businesses. You had a small, a lot of smaller businesses. And if you worked there, then if the company did well, you did well. And so you had a sense of purpose, maybe through your work. You know, you were going to move up the ladder. You were going to be a foreman and then a, a manager and then maybe have a, some percentage share. And then you were going to get to a place. And now it feels, I think, like we've let a lot of our companies get to these big conglomerates. And it's about the bottom line. A, a lot of companies are beholding to their shareholders, but not to their share croppers, if you will, to the people working within the company. So then what I'm saying is as a, as a person, you may not feel any people you, I feel like you, people can get a sense of purpose from their work. So if you don't have that sense of purpose, then you can be pretty aimless. Right. And then if you don't have love, like if somebody doesn't love you or you feel unloved or you don't love somebody, like if you don't have a um, family or a husband or wife or children, then you may not feel like a lot of love. Right. And so having love gives you a sense of purpose. And we have less families these days. The familial structure is really kind of broken down in America. You know, you have a lot of single parent homes. You have a lot of two parents having to work. So right there, there's a place where people were, I feel like people used to get a lot of purpose. And now a lot, there's people that aren't getting purpose from their work. And there's people that aren't getting purpose from their heart being f fulfilled by someone else or them being the piece that fills someone else's heart. So right there, man, you have a lot, you have people who don't have a lot of purpose. And then there used to be a sense of America. We are this country. We are these people. We are united. We care about our neighbor. But that's been, a lot of that has gone by the wayside. Our political leaders have sold us out to the highest bidder, it doesn't feel anymore like your politicians or your leaders have your best interest. It doesn't feel that way. And I'm not crying here. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see how do we get to somebody that does something like that? That's what I've been thinking about. Like, how do you get there? How do you get to somebody that does a um, shooting of a school? Because you got to get there somehow. And it keeps happening. So anyway, I think that the, a lot of it is purpose. If you don't have a purpose, then you are at the whim of whatever could come along. You're at the whim of whatever influence you get or whatever ideology that you can attach onto. And so no job, no love, no real sense of honor or connection to your country. And then on top of that, if you, if you find that you're the victim, if you start to say, well, I'm a victim, everybody else, I don't have any responsibility for myself. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Not only are you going to find any ideology that comes along, which the internet is going to give, the internet creates an algorithm that gives you whatever you keep looking at, you get more of. So if you look at pudding or something, you get all pudding, boy. And then three years from now, I'm wondering why you too thick, you can't be in the military now. Because, buddy, you puddinged out. You chose pudding. And pudding chose you. Because whatever vice it is, it'll choose you back. So you, so if you, if you want to be someone who is, you know, you want to get involved with us like a alt right or alt left, or you want to get involved with, um, school shooters or uh, anti Christian or anti, um. I'm just trying to think something, some severe ideology you want to get. Then the internet, the Twitter, whatever is going to keep serving you it. Next thing you know, you're down a rabbit hole. And I think at that point, that's how you end up there, I think. You end up in a place where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be seen. I'm going to make sure they know who I am. 
I'm going to make sure that they say my name or they hear my name or they see me. And that's just, it's a, that's heartbreaking along the whole way, you know? So I don't know. I think I've just been having a lot of thoughts about that. How do people end up there? How do people get to a place where they would do that sort of thing? Now, some people I think are just crazy and those are, um, crazy people. That's different. But how does someone who's just been, you know, because next thing you know, you're on Twitter, you get an anti-religious thing. You're like, oh, I went to a religious school. I also have trouble identifying in the world, maybe sexually. So, and then your Twitter, your feed, your social media just keeps serving you more of that. Hey, you're right. You're right. You're right. And then, man, you're gassed up. So I think a lot of it is a sense of purpose. And some of those sense of purpose is like the American one I can feel. I felt like when I was a child, it felt like, oh, we're part of this, you know. But it doesn't feel like that a lot anymore. But also I got to recognize that I can still do things to try and make myself have a purpose. And you find purpose. And, you know, I'm fortunate that people love me, my family, you know, that I have a job. I have this podcast to come to. I have some sense of purpose for myself. And a lot of you guys do, too. I think we're kind of a purpose-filled group where we're trying to find that. But I think that's something that um, I feel like that's, for me, that's something I think that, that, that that's part of that. Is that, man, when you don't have a purpose, the dark arts, will, they, were, they, are, they are at your door. They are waiting on the edge of your ear to come in and get your brain. And those include like, you know, all the, just the links, just the rabbit hole you can go down in that'll make you hate. Because man, you find a rabbit hole, you when you get halfway to the bottom of that bitch, there's a HOA meeting of just hateful owners association. Halfway through some of these rabbit holes. And it's just, it's just dangerous, so. Mm -hmm.